on the tangerine gummies. My mother-in-law doesn't like the taste. And when I swallowed mine, it was burning my throat. <clears throat> I don't know what about it, but it was a very, very bad taste. Um, we're going to update you in the morning to see how we sleep or how it goes. I was super duper tired. Hi, buddy. Come here. I was super tired and um, I ate food. I was hungry and it's 7.23 right now and I'm just so ready for bed. I'm just like oh, ready to pass out. See, so, he, so is he. <laughs> he agrees. <laughs> he agrees too, huh? It's time for bedtime, huh? <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> You're such a baby. I love it. I love it. I love it. So yeah, we'll update you in the morning and see how that goes. Sorry guys, if you're screaming, it's my neighbors. They're out because it's the weekend. So, and then that's my dus my husky, dusky, dusky. Come here. Wanna say hi? Wanna say hi? Anyway, what I wanted to say was because I was just in there watching this girl on TikTok and it got me thinking on how I wanted to tell you guys about what's been going on because I'm really scared and I don't know. So I wanted to give you an honest opinion or why I've been trying to rely on the gummies and stuff. Because right now I'm trying to debate whether I want to take one of these tonight or not. I'm afraid if it's going to be too late to take one. And then it's going to be hard for me to wake up in the morning to uh, wake my fiance up for work. So I don't know if I should take one of these or just skip it tonight. And try on his day off or something. I don't know. Um, but <clears throat> I am super duper scared to take my new medicine that they gave me um so i've been trying to take gummies or s smoke my uh lob pens so that way it would help me stay focused it would help me stay i was hoping it would help me stay focused and concentrate and actually get things done and i'm taking something more healthier than i am taking something from the government or something from um, the higher up people in this world that just put random things and things and you never know anything. So like I am so scared on um, how my body is going to react to my new meds because usually with a new med I always have a bad allergic reaction to something. Sometimes it's immediately but most of the time it takes like a few months and then I, then my body decides to uh, reject it. So like with my new medicine I am like super duper scared to take it. I am so scared to take it because I know what it's done to other people and I don't want to accept that I need that. I don't like to accept help. I thought there was somebody that jumped the fence and started walking in the yard to sneak up on us. And us, I mean me, my dis my husband. He's alerted. He's alerted. He's my protector. He my protector. I love you. Um but yeah. Um so I'm like hoping that these gummies or just anything of the source of gardening would help me and I'm doing an experience experiment on my own so that way I can beat around the bush and not have to take my new medicine because I really want to see if this actually is truly helping me because the gummy that I took earlier the ting tangerine ting I don't know why I struggle so hard to say that big long word ting tangerine like the orange ting tangerine um that is um I was very, very, very tired there for like two, three hours. Now it's like almost eight and I'm like freaking wide awake. I am wide awake. I'm I'm like zoomed up. I'm <laughs> zoomed up. Every time I say zoomed up, I'm like, uh, I, I, 
Imagine Dusky and Aurora, which is his sister, other husky, uh, just do, does their zoomies and like so excited and happy and jumpy and everything, like wagging their tails and everything. So when I say I'm all zoomed up, that's like the energy I have, like my huskies does. <laughs> that's like what I'm feeling right now. So like, I don't know. Um, so hopefully this will help, but I'm scared again because I have to wake up for my fiance to make sure he, I can um, walk him out and help him out and give him a hug and a kiss before he leaves because I don't like being that type of person that just doesn't care about their fiance and you never know. So always make sure you're the ones that you love feel love always. Always, always, always. And earlier, when I went, it went like this to the chair, I thought I leaned up against a person and it freaked me out. So that's why I looked and I'm like, oh, it's just a chair and I was trying to act so calm. So I wouldn't scare you guys or spook you guys. I don't know, am I okay, guys? Am I okay? <sighs> I don't know why I'm so jumpy tonight. I do not know why. Do you know why? I don't know why. Maybe that's another side effect. I don't know. But yeah, that's my story. My, my, I don't know, my thoughts, I guess. My, my story, my thoughts. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for being here and thank you for coming along with me on this journey and thank you for um, accepting me for who I am. And I'm so glad you guys enjoy these videos and I'm so glad that they make you laugh, they make you smile, and they're just fun and uplifting and sometimes they're sentimental heart to heart and then most of the time I just like to be positive and uplifting and like inspirational and I love helping others so that's why I'm doing my reviews and stuff on this because I want you guys to start taking these too if they actually truly really help instead of taking like government med medicine you know what I mean like prescription medicine because you never know they always put things in it and like I am so scared that my body's gonna have a seizure or I'm gonna die f with taking my new medicine because it could raise up my heart rate it can make my heart beep 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 like really, really super damn uh, fast or it just completely stops or both so that's what I'm really scared about and um, I really don't want to take it. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm just super duper scared. No thank you. I'd rather take something more natural than something that could be anything. You know what I mean? that makes sense I don't know I'm still blabbing around but I'll see you guys in the morning and see how I sleep and how my mother-in-law sleeps but again neither of us like the tangerine flavor and my fiance hates that flavor so he wouldn't even try it so um if they have different flavors I don't know but I don't even know what kind of high this is I really don't know it's a mixture of I was super duper tired ready for bed I was ready to pass out me or like now I'm like really, really like wide awake, really hyper and like, <sighs> but then I'm like, I'm ready for bed now after talking <laughs> for seven minutes, almost literally eight minutes, seven minutes and 45 seconds. I'm like, okay, I'm tired. <laughs> so I'll see y'all in the morning and I'll let you know. It is almost 8 30 it's like 8 20 something and i literally at night night and it's still the same night and i feel like a freaking zombie <laughs> i'm so freaking ready for bed i feel like i got up too fast from downstairs to come up here to go to the bathroom and i feel very very dizzy i think i got up too fast let me just sit here for a moment until I can actually stand up and take the dogs out for night night. I'm so ready for bed. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna let him out for the full 30. This is why I don't feel like 
I deserve anything or why I don't feel like I deserve the rest or I don't feel like I should love myself and I feel like the reason why I feel like the people shouldn't love me because I just feel like I've been so lazy and just I've been cleaning but I never got anything done that's the only thing, like, each room. I got the bathroom cleaned, except for I need it. I need to mop and sweep again, and then try the, try cleaning the toilet again, the toilet bowl, and then I need to clean the bottom of the kitchen. I have literally almost done, but now the dishes are getting stacked up again, and I need to sweep all floors, mop all floors, and... Yeah, so I'm like, I can't go to sleep. I don't deserve sleep. I don't deserve to relax because I have responsibilities and I have things to do and things to get taken care of before I can rest and before I can relax and be lazy. Like, if I be lazy for a week, then that's bad because nothing's getting done and everything's getting piled up again and it's just not ever going to get caught up. So, this is why I beat myself up. This is why I don't love myself. This is why I hate myself so much. That's because of these thoughts. I don't know. The way I look at things, I guess. The way I am so, like, I don't deserve anything because I feel like I've been so lazy and I've been eating my gummies and cutting my vape, trying to enjoy myself and to do me time, but I've been doing me time and enjoying myself for like ever. And then now I need to get back on my grind and actually do everything again. And till I finish, I can't go to sleep. I need to finish. But when I am slacking, like I have been, then I I beat myself up over it and I need to um sleep but I keep saying hey I need to sleep and the other day I was so last night I think I was so grumpy because I was so freaking tired and I was falling asleep and I didn't want to do anything but I forced myself to do it because I know I have to do things I need to get things done there's a bug so I'm so tired. <sighs> I feel bad for loving myself. But when I enjoy myself, I'm just... I've been really, like, loving myself lately. And so I've been, like, doing, like, little photo shoots and stuff because I've been really happy about my body and my weight because I've been gaining more weight and... I'm pretty proud of myself, so I feel, and I honestly have been feeling great mentally, emotionally, and physically. Like, I've been doing amazing. So that's why I'm like, okay, I'll take some selfies and do little photo shoots that I used to do all the time with my mom back at my home state because I miss that, and I don't have anybody to do that with, so I just do it myself. And I have a buddy, so <laughs> Dusky always come joins me for it, so... Yeah, I guess that's my cue to go take him outside because I hear him coming up. Look who it is. Come here. <laughs> I don't think he's going to see that. Hi. Hi. Ready to go outside? Ready to go outside? Let's go get Auroras. Let's go get Auroras. <clears throat> see, everyone's different. Everybody reacts differently to the same medication, the same gardening, the same thing. Cause you guys would take the same exact thing like me and my mother-in-law. I am like so tired and I think I got up again too fast. So I'm like sitting down again cause I'm like really, really dizzy. But I just put away uh, Dusky's toys and yeah. Um, my mother-in-law said that her tongue is really, really numb she can't feel her tongue and that she thinks that's how much pain she's she was in and she said her arm feels a little better so 
there's that on the same gummy that I took the ting tangerine one the Incredibles tangerine one so that's an update it's still the same night it's literally at 30 now at night so I will update you guys when she informs me how she's feeling tomorrow and then I'll update you guys when I wake up and stuff so yeah but for her it's numbed her tongue and it didn't that didn't happen to me. I just got really super duper tired. And then I got like really, really wide awake, and like energized. And then now I felt like a zombie. And then now I'm just like really, really tired. And I'm like really dizzy and like, I got up too fast. So <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's how I'm been feeling. And my mother-in-law. <laughs> I'm like so tempted to just sleep here and lay here for the night in the kitchen. That's how tired I am. I'm like so ready to go to sleep. So this is the next morning. My mother-in-law is still asleep, but I am up because I've been I got things to do like I been saying, but um I did not sleep well. I had a lot of weird dreams and apparently I I kicked my fiance in the balls last night. Apparently. So because I I remember faintly hurting him, but that's all I remember. But I don't know what I did. And so that's why I asked him this morning. And apparently that's what I did. And um I I'm wide awake right now because I was so so like tired earlier. Um so hopefully I'm not so tired today and I can actually get things done because I have things that I have to get done. Or at least two things I really wanna actually do but I was thinking about maybe going back to sleep and waking up at 12 because then I would have six hours until my fiance gets well six and a half hours till my fiance gets home from work so that is my plan this morning but I'm not sure what is dusky chewing and if you hear painting it's Aurora because Aurora's butt keeps coming to the door and dusky's laying down chewing on something I don't know <laughs> but uh yeah I didn't sleep okay I did not and apparently my fiance didn't because I heard <sighs> but yeah I had a lot of weird dreams and I kept tossing and turning and yeah but right now it's almost eight in the morning and like 10 minutes before eight in the morning and like I'm wide awake right now but I was planning on going back to sleep, but I don't know because I'm wide awake and I'm like, okay, let's get things done and then rest later type of thing. But even then I'm going to regret it if I do it that way. <laughs> I need sleep. So I don't know because my brain keeps thinking and like, oh, I got to do this. I want to do this. And I'm like, I'll get so creative and I come up with ideas and I'm like, okay, now I can uh, go act, up, act upon those ideas and make them real and because I can never stop thinking about it until I finish it. So that's usually why I can't sleep most of the time. Or when I'm just laying here and just chilling and just, I don't know, trying to relax in the morning when I wake up. But I'm like, nope, I've got too many ideas. I want to immediately act upon them and get them done. Or I'll write, type them all in my notes and stuff uh, on my phone. And then I can put all my thoughts to real life basically so and I can't stop thinking about it until I actually do it so um yeah that's <laughs> well, one of the reasons why I never really sleep either because I just never stop thinking about it because I'm like excited about it and it's fun and I like to enjoy myself and I've been a lot more happier with myself and actually loving myself more and I'm pretty happy with my my weight and I'm happy with what I look like. That's why I've been doing like little photo shoots in the bathroom and like outside with Dusky and doing like little cool photo shoots with him. Like he's so freaking adorable. If only a war would sit still for me, I could do some photo shoots with you too and send them to mommy because I know she would love them. Love, love, love them. If she would sit still for me. <laughs> 
if I can get her to sit still. But yeah. And that's so why I'm like, I miss that because I used to do little photo shoots with my mom all the time. And I'm like finding my way back to that because I'm, I'm like really liking myself again. I'm like loving myself again. And I'm really happy with where my weight is. And I usually would look in the selfie and be like, well, I got a muffin top. I'm fat. Um, how can I be more skinnier? Or I punish myself and say, don't eat because I don't deserve to eat because I, um, I don't, I need to lose weight because I don't look good in the, the selfie. But now when I look at myself in my selfies that I've been taking recently, lately, I think positive i'm like ooh, i look great i feel great my face expressions like i genuinely look happy and like my smile is genuine like i look like i got my bright on my glow on on my face leave it leave it leave it that's war jumping um but um yeah i look at those selfies and i'm like ooh, i look beautiful i'm happy i actually feel great on the inside and the outside mentally emotionally and physically like i don't know so like i've been really enjoying these little photo shoots i've been doing for myself and with my hus my huskies <laughs> because it's really fun and i don't know i just feel like i'm getting back to my roots again and it's fun <laughs> it's fun leave me alone i know a lot of people think i'm boring because i don't play video games and i don't <sighs> garden as much or as heavy as a lot of people do but I'm trying to function on that I'm trying to see what works best for me and not not hurt my what hurt myself any other ways if that makes any sense I don't know so and if you see like glossy stuff on my face, I put mentholatum on my nose because I can't breathe out of my nose. I see it's still a little stuffy on the side, but I'm usually a mouth breather. I don't know why, but it's really hard for me to breathe through my nose. Like I just choke in my sleep and I forget how to breathe a lot of the times. So I don't know why it's really annoying and I'm just like I just want to breathe normally <laughs> like can I just breathe normally not to be breathing through my mouth the entire time 24 7 like literally I breathe through my mouth 24 7 and I don't know how to breathe through my nose I really don't I don't know why it's such a struggle and I always choke because I can't breathe like I'm like oh my god I'm dying because I can't breathe like and I feel like I'm suffocating in my sleep a lot of the times because again I'm at a higher higher altitude or whatever it is so like i'm not i've been here for a while but like with the thin air i don't know but i feel like i struggled that at my home state too where i would still breathe with my mouth open because i remember my mom always telling me that i always slept with my mouth open and i never snored back then but now i snore a lot <laughs> so i don't know things are changing because i'm getting older and i don't know it's weird being an adult <laughs> it's a struggle it's it's weird I don't know and I've been told I'm a very weird person so I'm trying to embrace that <laughs> because people are always telling me I'm weird but I hope it's a good weird not a bad weird and I don't know so yeah welcome to my morning thoughts <laughs> about me rambling on about random things I don't know I'm just telling you guys how I feel <clears throat> and update on the gummy um I, like I said I didn't sleep well and I'm wide awake now but I was tired because I woke up at like five in the morning mm. and went back to sleep woke up at like six something because I had to go to the bathroom and then I went back to sleep and then I just been laying in bed and talking to my fiance and cuddling him and everything in the morning and then now I'm up because I gotta watch the doggies and um what is dusty chewing on and uh get him going for work so yeah i love you guys <laughs> and i'll be back when i when my mother-in-law 
awakes is awake and she informs me of how she's feeling and then I'll let you guys know because she's still asleep so I don't know if I'm going back to sleep I don't know what I'm going to do but I know I have two things I want to do today I want to clean my fiance's desk and gaming area and like his side table and then I want to clean um my dresser or our dresser is technically his I just have all my crap on top <laughs> and he he can't we can't use the mirror I know he likes seeing himself in the morning when he wakes up with the big mirror so I need to get that clean so he can see himself in the mirror and we could actually use the mirror for our outfits and I don't know it's just nice to look at yourself in the mirror and feel great about yourself in the morning you know I don't know so I'll be back when she awakes <laughs> love you guys thank you for being here and i hope this video is helping and i'm just blabbing about how i genuinely feel i guess and see if these gummies actually work or not because i like i said i really really don't want to be taking government prescriptions because the one my new one i am like really really scared but i feel like i'm tempted to take my new medicine today though just to see how it is but my mother-in-law is home my fiance will be at work so i have two huskies we got a medical one that will alert for anything and then um we have a fire department literally not too far from the house so and i have a working phone so if anything i can just call 911 so that's like a safety net for me, a safety net thought for me, I guess you could say, is that if anything goes wrong, my mother-in-law is here, I have my phone with me at all times, and I got two huskies to help me out, so I, that should be okay. I'm, I'm still thinking about it, but I don't know, I'm debating whether I want to take it today, because I, I want to see if it, I, if I can actually really focus and get things done today so maybe i won't go back to sleep because i don't know how long it will be in my system and i don't know how long it okay rephrase i don't know how long it my new medicine will last that's my my question i don't know how long my medicine will last and i'm afraid if I take it too later in the day where I, like I said, I was going to wake up at like 12 and then I have like six and a half hours for my fiance to be home. I don't know if that medicine will wear off within the six and a half hours because I don't want to be wide awake and full on focused during when I'm trying to sleep. You know what I mean? Like I want to actually get some sleep. So, um, and then t I was also thinking about taking, um, the night, the sleep gummies tonight. Because my fiance took the snoozeberry ones, um, the snooze, snoozeberry ones. I'll go grab them. I'll be right back. So, I gave him these ones last night. I gave him two because he, he can handle two. I can only handle one and my mother-in-law can only handle one. But I gave my fiance two of these and he said they tasted really good, but I don't, no, if he actually really slept good to be honest because like I said I kicked him in the balls in my sleep and I hurt him and he said he was up like two hours sorry my alarm went off um I need the dogs to know they're both at the door wagging their tails because every time they hear my alarm they're like oh it's time to come in but I wanted to say this real quick um the snoozeberry, he said they tasted good, but I don't think he actually benefited from them, to be honest. So, I'm going to be taking either this one or this one tonight. This one is the Sour Blue Raspberry. This is a 200 milligram. This, the only difference is this has CBG and THC only. These have CBN, CBG, and THC, and I don't remember what my fiance said about cbn so i was gonna look it up to see and get more in depth more detail about that but that's the difference this one doesn't have cbn this one does so i don't know but this is like a berry flavor and this is like a sour blue raspberry and like i said with all the ones that i've eaten before and all my other videos when it's sour gummies or anything sour it does not taste sour to me at all it tastes like a really good strong blue raspberry 
and it's like the perfect amount of flavor like it's so good and you can't even taste the gardening you can't even taste the gardening that's why i like that but i get so tired of just blue raspberry or berry flavor for being indica um that's why i'm like i like to switch things up because i don't like taking the same things or eating the same things all the time like i would like to switch it up but um it's like the only downfall but these are really good so i'm gonna be trying one of them tonight and i'll keep you guys updated on how i sleep compared to last night and everything so yeah i don't think my fiance benefited from it and he was two up two hours before my alarm went off for him to wake up so i don't think that he benefited from this if that tells you anything that just tells you anything um but he did say these taste good but beneficial wise i don't think it worked so like i said but everybody is different everybody we all can be taken eating the same thing but each body has a different effect to it we all our bodies react different to it we all have a different experience with it and that's what i'm trying to pull across through these videos is that each and every one of us is different and it's not going to work the same for all of us even though we're literally taking the same thing we just all won't get the same effects so yeah so i'll be back when she wakes up and i'll keep you guys updated love you I know it's late. It's like almost 8.30. Um, my mother-in-law said that she... There's a word. <laughs> my mother-in-law said that she um, slept like a baby last night. So, um, I think the gummies worked for her. She was in a lot of pain. And when she woke up, her arm wasn't as in much pain. And she had a heating pad on it. So, she said she slept like a baby. I'm going to be trying the... 100 milligram THC 5 MG CBN Uncle's uh, Blueberry Sleep Drink Indica. And I don't know, my fiance may take this tonight too. Um, Uncle, Uncle Annery's, Arnie's Blueberry Nightcap is what it's called. So. I had it in the fridge. I just shake it up. Ooh. That smells good. And it's blue. It looks like a blue milkshake. Like a cloud milkshake. That's what this reminds me of. And looks like and smells like. There's Aura. Hi, Aura's. Hi, boobies. Hi, boobies. Hi. Um, but, yeah. It said take in the cap so the cap is just 10 milligram as I went overboard I want to show you guys the color hold on and of course I run out of storage so hopefully this works cheers That's really good. I always like to do that. Yummy. I'll let you know in the morning how I sleep. 